Hello dear ones, it's Alice. Um, I'm sitting here in the bright sunlight and behind me in the backdrop there's, there's some juniper trees. They're supposed to be sacred healing juniper trees. Good for cleansing it, for a smudge I think or to, to just lie, lay around, break off and lay around and put in your house get rid of evil spirits and bad feelings and all kinds of things. Good room deodorizers and probably good for a lot of other things too. So I wanted to talk today a little bit about the vital body likes and dislikes and uh, the vital body will and the process of, of uncovering our personal integrity as it applies to the ascension, what we're going through. First, you know, the vital body is like from the neck down, down to the lowest chakra. It doesn't include the lowest chakra because that's the physical body chakra. But everything else is vital body stuff. So, weeks ago, I started noticing First of all, they're very spontaneous. It's not something that the vital body thinks about and decides on. It's just something that it's... So, for instance, if uh, I like the color purple, so I wear purple, but the minute I see purple, I like purple, and it's, it's, it's a vital body like, see? So, uh, it's not a thought out like. There's, there's no particular reason, maybe stream of thought th association or something like that. But, I'd be hard pressed to say why I like purple, but I do, and and that kind of uh, uh, automatically triggered liking and disliking underlays most of my existence when it comes right down to it. There's little, very little that I think through and say mm, it would be better if I pursue this course of action than actually carry it out, unless the vital body is in agreement. And, and lots of times the vital body takes me places I don't want to go, like to the ice cream store <laughs> or to buy a Coca-Cola. And, and my thinking mind is, is kicking and screaming the whole way and telling me what a ridiculous decision it is and my vital body has to have its way. You know what I mean? And this is true of a lot of the stuff we do in life. Some of it more self-destructive and more destructive of our spiritual path than that. So... Um, First, so at first, I came to the conclusion that that I wasn't really a, a, a person of my own determination. It, my vital body was almost always running the show. Not the happiest news. And so then, the next thing that I found out was that uh, when my mental mind, when my mental body takes over, and decides, oh, okay, you have to work on your paperwork today, right? And then I don't pay attention to what comes up in, in, as far as the vital body is concerned. Then uh, all kinds of negative thoughts come into my consciousness and, and they reach a crescendo point at which I must act to placate the vital body or else. I'll bet you've had an experience like that. <laughs> so, the first thing is mostly my vital body pretty much gets its way and second thing is if it doesn't get its way, get its way there's heck to pay. The last few days I've been looking out for, for the appearance of this vital body will, right? And interestingly enough in the middle of the night like 12.30 in the morning a couple of nights ago I had a visit. Uh, first, first my alarm rang on my door. It rang without any particular reason for it to ring, it just started ringing. So I woke up 12.30 in, in slightly after midnight. And just as I got up, this immense vital body energy swooped into my room, I swear. It was not mine, it seemed to be from a, a lot of people from their unconscious state. And it was very, very uh, angry and destructive and uh, uh, actually, it could have been terrifying had it not happened many times before. So I had been practicing um, visualizing my Merkaba, my, my um, 
I don't know if you know what that, it's a sacred geometry that protects the, the physical and the mental and all the bodies. And so I had been visualizing that all the pr previous day. And, and this threatening energy, this threat energy swooped into my room and my own vital body will, it, it was full of vital body will, negatively aspected, right? My own vital body will uh, added immense energy to, uh, to my Merkaba and, and fended off this other energy. Without my mental mind thinking about it, it was a complete surprise to me. Never happened before. In the past, I had felt fear. So, uh, but this time, uh, my vital body will protected me. And uh, I got to thinking about integrity and facing the will and uh, likes and dislikes of the vital body. And just from observation, I'd be inclined to say that in our society today, we tend to ignore the likes and dislikes and of the vital body. So, for instance, especially a person who is spiritually inclined will have high ideals that may not, uh, in fact, never completely match the likes and dislikes of the vital body. So they may be ignored. For instance, the desire for sex. Every highly evolved spiritual person knows that that should be controlled, right? But the vital body, it will have none of that. It wants what it wants, and if it doesn't get what it wants, uh, it, it creates a negatively aspected mental mind. And then at night you get these, this roaming around energy of the unconscious force of the vital body roaming around the world, creating what I term the victim-aggressor paradigm. And a lot of people are complaining about that, about threat energy, about being victims, about you know, controllers and all this stuff. Whereas in fact, it could be we ourselves um, not paying attention to what our vital bodies want. Now I'll give you another instance. Uh, all spiritually progressive people know that they shouldn't have any of those cardinal sins like la lo bakam kro de moho, like they used to say in uh, Gurmukhi. Like, um, Lust, anger, greed, pride, and attachment, say. Bad news for the yogi, right? <laughs> but you know what? Our vital body's got that issue, all those issues most likely. So let's say we're in a situation where, where jealousy uh, comes into play for the vital body. Perhaps for no reason at all, except that there, the vital body is a jealous, tends to exhibit jealousy, right? And we, our spiritual self, say, uh-uh, no, I, I, Alice, am not a jealous person. But there I've got my vital body simmering and upset and jealous, right? And angry. And that creates a situation where a person hates. A person hates someone else subconsciously and behaves consciously through the mental mind as if they loved somebody. The two don't agree. And when the when the, um, the two brains of a human being, the, the mental mind and the, the gut brain, are divided like that, then we lose our personal power, you know? So that's the bad news. <laughs> but the good news is, I've noticed, when I pay attention to my vital body, when it says to me, for instance, I can't take the paperwork anymore, I've got to get up and go out for a walk, right? Then, and, I, and when I listen to it, then all kinds of wonderful creative things happen. And it seems as if the wisdom of the, of the universe comes to me. And it has to do with, with integrity, with honoring the vital body likes and dislikes, which then allows us to consciously uh, include the the immense creative ability of the vital body will. So 
So integrity ongoing in the next few days. Uh, I think the thing to do is just to, to observe. Um, to observe without judging the likes and dislikes of the vital body. And just that act of awareness, true awareness, um, creates a sense of integrity. You know what I mean? And integrity uh, creates personal power and personal, personal power will allow us to co-create the new reality. Well, that's all I have for you right now and I can't say how this experiment's going to turn out but from a stepping stone along the path, I wish you all the very best. Till next time.